It was an exhibition showcasing quality goods produced in the East African region, dubbed Support Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Build East Africa, aimed at strengthening trade and economic ties within the bloc. <laughs> Speaking at the East African Community Annual Druakali Exhibition, Foreign Affairs Chief Administrative Secretary Ababu Namwamba asked the East African member states to strengthen integration by allowing free cross-border movement of goods and services for the benefit of her people. People, goods and services can move across the entire length and breadth of East Africa without restriction, without hindrance. That is the direction we should go. Ababu says the regional bloc must now think out of the box and tap on the market that has over 100 million people. We must invest in production that can replace imports that are coming in from outside this region. And the sector that will drive that agenda is these micro, small and medium enterprises. Ababu said there is need for deeper trade and investment on micro, small and medium enterprises as the platform sustains a higher number of households in the region. 30% of the business economic output in this region comes from this sector. That is a huge volume of the economic base of this region. And so it is important that we give priority to this region to grow. At the same time, the CAS has asked the bureaus of standards to improve the standards and departments issuing patents to protect goods produced in the East African region, as this would unleash the potential to produce quality goods for the highly competitive region and global export markets. Those products can sell at the very top markets anywhere in the world, whether it is in New York or Tokyo or Paris, you can sell those products there. They have been made by artisans from Uganda. We want those products to replace anything similar that is being imported from outside the East African community. Reporting for Channel One News, I'm Jackie Wambiro.